guys, welcome back to Cars with Casey. I'm Casey Dobbins and I am test driving and reviewing cars for families from a mom's perspective. I'm so excited you're here and I can't wait to show you what we have today. Today, we are reviewing the 2021 Nissan Armada. I have been driving it for about a week now and have loved it. If you had, uh, had ever driven a 2020 or before, the 2021 has a ton of upgrades, especially on the inside. The outside is um, similar to what it looked like before, but the inside has a ton of upgrades. Um, and I, I just wanna show you a little bit about some of my favorite things. If you followed along last time, you know that I love a black grill. Uh, this one does have a, quite a bit of chrome on it, which I personally love, but I like the black grille. Love the Nissan sign with the white uh, camera. If you have listened at all, you know that I'm terrible at parking, and that has definitely been a lifesaver for me. So if you come around a little bit to the side, all the front, I, I love it. 20-inch wheels, huge fan. Wheels are super important to me. I, I like a, a wheel and I will pick a vehicle out based on the wheels, but I love a 20 inch wheel. They look uh, great to me. And then the side is pretty much the same as the 2020 version and, and before, but of course you have your blinkers on the side. This is a V8. This model is actually the SL model, which is kind of the mid trim for the um, Armadas. Platinum would be your highest, S, SV for your base models but uh running boards out at all times I, I personally like that of course you have a lot of chrome on the side i think it's a gorgeous vehicle all right now we're inside the 2021 nissan armada um from the driver's standpoint uh, these seats are super comfy great head clearance here i feel like you sit up pretty high without the seat even being raised great visibility i mean i really I think it has great visibility. Um, let's take a look at the door panel first. So like most, you have, of course, your window controls, lock, unlock, mirror controls, and your settings, uh, seat settings. I love those. I'm always number one. Let's take a look at the steering wheel. Of course, you have your volume, your radio controls. Then you have your cruise controls on this side. Uh, your phone up here in the... Um, Dash, I love the setup I have. I love a digital um, speedometer. And um, of course you can see what's on the radio, your time, your temperature. Love that setup. So on the 2021 Armada, they definitely upgraded the technology and electronics part. Of course you have your radio. It does have wireless Apple CarPlay. Of course you can still plug it in. It has your Bluetooth audio, all the things. The hourly forecast, I have no idea why, but my family has loved the hourly forecast. We've been test driving this vehicle for about a week, and every time we get in, someone has something to say about the hourly forecast. I don't know. It's been a hot, hot item in this vehicle for us. Then you have your air controls. Of course, you have the knobs and buttons, which I personally love. Uh, you, the passenger can control theirs. We do have heated seats on both of the front two seats. Um, now, this is, opens up and we have a wireless charging station, which goes pretty far back. Then we have a 12 volt, volt um, plug there, USB-C, USB, and trailer brakes. Another important thing for moms or families, the console. Does it have a big console? Yes, it does. It has a great console. Not the biggest I've seen, but it is, it is nice. So in here we have a removable tray and it goes down pretty far. You have a pretty good amount of storage in here, plus the little tray to keep some change and stuff in. I think it's, um, I think it's a great size. Okay, so if you've been following me at all, uh, you know that cup holders are a big deal for me. I post about it constantly and I've talked about it several times. I have to have good cup holders in my vehicles. This, I always have a water, coffee, something to drink with me at all times. 
this has great cup holders. I have my 40 ounce water bottle again. It's not going anywhere. It doesn't, um, it never moves. Honestly, it doesn't rattle. It doesn't move. It's been great. So two cup holders up here for the driver and the passenger. This is actually the SL trim and an add on for this one was the four wheel drive. So if you, uh, that's important to you. This one does have four wheel drive. Of course you have your gear shifter. Then we have ways to access the radio we have the audio a menu your navigation camera which is important to me when i'm parking i usually have to turn my camera on make sure i'm in those lines um of course you can uh adjust the station and everything here let's take a look at the second row so i'm five six i have tons of leg room honestly this seat could come way back and i would have plenty of space so plenty of space for an adult, plenty of space for any car seat setup, rear facing, I think would have tons of room. Okay, so we're in the second row, tons of space. Uh, I love these ceiling vents. If you have a kid in a car seat, you know you want these ceiling vents blowing on them. If they're rear facing, they're not getting as much airflow. Uh, ceiling vents are great. Speaking of car seats, in both of these seats, we have lower anchors and tether anchors on the back of each seat. Now, if you followed along with me at the beginning, you know I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the console, but the verdict is in, and my kids have loved it. They're, they've been putting stuff in here. There's probably stuff in there now. Um, they have a console. Honestly, it's probably bigger than the front. And then they have two great cup holders for their drinks. And then down here, we actually have a, another compartment, and it goes pretty deep down in there. Another thing that my kids have found, other than all the compartments on the console, is the they can access the front console from the back. So you can open this up and they have access to the front. Also, they can control the air. They have the fan speed and the temperature that controls the back air vents. Okay, so if you have older kids, this is not as convenient if you have car seats but older kids to access the third row is super easy and it gives you tons of space. All you have to do is pull the back latch. It's gonna fold and push forward. So you have easy access to the third row. Okay, let's talk third row. Uh, it's a little tight. I am 5'6 and my knees are touching. We can't move this seat forward. Um, so it is a little bit on the smaller side for the third row, but it's definitely still works. Uh, my daughter, she's about 4'2". She fits back here great. Um, so a smaller child, this definitely works. Um, there are no lower anchors, but this seat has a tether anchor. So only one tether anchor in the back, in the back and no lower anchors in the back. So if you have car seats, that can be a bummer for you. I don't, uh, I don't have car seats, so it works great for me. So another thing in the third row, we have the ceiling vents again. If you have a passenger in the back seat, I think that is, it's great. Um, they can get some air flowing back because it does get pretty hot back here. Uh, you have two sets of cup holders on each side. So four total for the back, two on the second row, two on the front row for a grand total of eight. I think that's pretty great in the cup holder department. Okay, let's take a look at the back of the Nissan Armada. Yes, this is an SL trim. Uh, it does come with, honestly, some a lot of the main things that the Platinum comes with. And it has a power lift gate. Every mom wants a power lift gate. I know I do. All right, let's look back here. So third row is up, plenty of space. I always bring my bag so I can kind of show you how much space you have back here. Honestly, you have tons. I think, um, I, I really think you have a lot of space with the third row up, plenty of space for a grocery run, um, pool day, anything like that. A decent amount of space, really. I'm actually blown away by it. All right, so let's look under the mat because you do have a little handle here with some small storage. You could put a few little things in there. Um, not huge, but it is, some extra space you could put an extra change of clothes or something like that to keep in there with you all the time so one thing that this trim does not come with is power seats um 
I personally don't use my third row a ton unless the kids have friends with them or we have someone going somewhere with us. I don't use the third row a lot. That's probably not super important to me. Yes, it's convenient, but I would not buy a vehicle because it doesn't have power um, seats. But these do fold down really easy. All you have to do is pull the lever and push and they fold down easy peasy. Now you have tons of extra room in the back. I think, um, I think this is as big as any large SUV as far as the back. The seats don't fold down completely flat. They do have a little bit of a slant to them, but I did a Costco run the other day and everything fit perfectly in here, just like it would in any other large SUV.